player of the year last season. He took home with him the blue belt, made a name for himself back in England a couple of years back with a fantastic hundred. Quick, what are they going to do with the batting order? So they've decided to have Will Smead open, which is his normal position. And he's opening with Mohamed Wasim. On the money. Good hands. Little bit of width. Wasn't that wide. He made it look a bit wider than it was. Brilliant. How good is that from Billings? He often has the gloves on. And now standing at a wide slip. Grabs it with his right hand. That's got to be right up there. Have another look at this. Thick outside edge. Just puts his hand out. Sticks in. Oh boy, he liked it. He knows it's special. Made some space, and it's more than enough to clear the boundary. It goes towards grassroots cricket in the UAE. Yeah, just such a powerful striker of the ball. Going high. And it's uh, gone just long enough again. Or oh, slapped away. What a noise that was off the bat. Or oh, even better. That is such a crisp clout of the ball. Oh, and I say, what a good catch. It brings up the 50. A spicy shot it was. 54 for one from five. Last two overs, 38 runs. Things have uh, moving good. Another over. Oh, hello, hello. No respect for reputation. Pitch him up, Jason. I'll put you away. And what he did, he just made sure that he got under the ball on the up. 84 meters. That's a massive hit. Capitals are under serious. Much slower ball. Oh dear. That came down like a ping pong ball and it's gone off like a rocket. He's got momentum with him. Doesn't matter what pace you're bowling at to Andre Fletcher, but Fletcher's gone ambitious once too often. Rodman Powell takes the catch. Davy Warner smiles. They needed that one, the Capitals. Little slower on top of that. Extra bounce. Just ball gripping in the surface and getting, getting the bottom half of the bat and, and a comfortable catch. Easy catch. And the youngster. Leg side again. Where else? Into the stands. Mohamed Wasim, the UAE superstar. Picking up where he left off last season, Rohan Gavaskar. Well, as you said, that's a part of the ground that he heavily favours, the leg side. Wants two because he wants 50. Poor hands quick, poor hands fit. Captain does his senior batter a good serve. That's an excellent half century. Mohamed Wasim, just 24 balls, 13th 50 in T20 cricket to go with two superb hundreds. Ball full toss, Nicholas Poran doesn't need a second invitation. Top tier, 100 up. Trying to get the Yorker going, just missed his. Sliced, doesn't get all of it. Jason Holder in the deep, he's got buckets. Sikander Raza continues his wonderful form with the ball here in Dubai. Huge wicket. Yeah, just in diamond as well as Roman Wasim would have liked because he was there in the slot. Uh, Jason Holder doesn't drop too many. That's it. That's that late cut I just mentioned. That's a lovely, delicate touch. He knows he has the power. He has everything. Yeah! Brilliant from Raza. That's 
a huge wicket. He's got one of the best T20 batters out with a beauty. Watch that. Landed on the seam, straightened and took the off stump. All the defences from Puran didn't work. And that is a massive blow. He's slowing it up, giving no pace to work with. And that's wicket number 300 in T20s for Rula Fonamava. Wickets are falling right, left and centre. Corey Anderson just saw a little bit of flight. And it's that man, Billings, again in the business. Has come in for Dubai Capitals. This is on target from Jason Alder. He has a point to his captain as if this was a plan to DJ Bravo. More than likely the plan came from Jason Holder. The back foot and it was a easy cat, easy decision, very easy. There you go, he started walking. He knew it. And problems are increasing here. It's for seven. He's gone big. Has he got enough on it? I'm not sure he has. No, he hasn't. It's our friend Sam Billings again. Yes, three catches for Billings. Top Billings from Sam. Behind the stumps and when he's in the slip cord and are out in the deep, he is very safe under the high ball. This is a fairly routine catch. Aki Hussain, as you mentioned, was seven for 14. Something had to give. Holder keeps his foot behind the line. It's a good length. Steepling bounce. Right, Tim David. How well has he hit it? Oh, he's hit it well enough. So 150 up for the Maya Emirates. Given to the uh, longest six of the match. Close. You'll have to measure it. It's 86 metres. It's straight. And is it straight back over the bowler's head? It is, but straight into the big hands of Jason Holder. It's seam up. It's pace on. Trying to go over mid on and just slices it. And he bangs that down the ground at the side screen. I reckon Tim Dave will get enough on it. Jason Holder moves well for such a big man. Leave a pair of hands in the deep. Got to go for it, a swing and a miss. The Khan is the uh, last man in. The Dubai Capitals, they won the toss, they put the uh, My Emirates into bat. My Emirates, 159 for nine. Dubai Capitals need 160 to win this contest. The six of the, D the second of the DP World ILT20. Sentries on there, swing straight away. What a matchup this is. Oh, it's gone straight through the fingers. Trent Bolt. Doubt that the New Zealander will have a, an easier chance to take a court and bolt. Oh, he has absolutely climbed into this. He may be his fellow countryman, but no respect. Well, that six is in contention, the DP World biggest six of the match. Oh, it's gone nowhere except the fielder. Zahur Khan picks up the catch, but the delight is with Trent Bolt, and Warner's on his way. Well, make that dismissed him thrice now. Dina's goes there. Again, that shape away. I just opened him up. Big edge, good catch by Zahur. And that's a massive wicket. Uh, he's happy. The left armor. Flayed. Absolutely flayed away for four. It's 21 for one. Three gone. It's gone too much leg side. Fraser McGurk with a free flowing swing of the bat. Hit this well, so well, so easily. It's four more, four gone, 37 for one. Changes the length a little bit. 
And Fraser McGurk says, that's fine, I'll just change my area. Look at the back lift here of the young Aussie. Picks the bat up nice and high and extends the arms fully. Made some room. That's all it required. Make sure he gets their elevation. That will mean a four to his team. And a Sky 247.net super four for the match. Some power in that shot. Maybe an awkward bounce as well. At mid-off allows for the boundary. Doesn't matter about the field for Fraser McGurk. When you can hit like that so cleanly, you're going to get runs. Worry for the captain for my Emirates. The footwork against spin bowling is so important. Not to press too much, get your front press, but also be able to rock back. He wants some more, does Fraser McGurk. But in the end, it's Tim David on the boundary. Has he actually messed this up? I think he might have. Ball in hand, unsatisfied, ready to go back on field to Rod. Rod, boundary six, boundary six. No. He'll go after this with everything he's got and he's put it into the stack. And it bounces back. The bowler will pick it up and say, right, I'll have another go. The way they've been playing, it will finish very quickly. This was another short delivery outside the off stump. A kind of hit-me delivery. Very close to that uh, the DP World target. Yeah, let's just... Here's the young ones. 50 up for Roman Olegobaz. It's his 24th half century to go with two centuries on his T20 CV. Young player. Slow ball, and it's left the face of that bat from Gurbaz at a rate of knots. Oh, yes. He you know, saw the slow ball, he tells my Emirates. He did not bother moving after that. After getting that ball in the middle of the bat, he knew exactly where that ball was going. 87 meters. What a magnificent hit. A walk in the park. This might not have enough on it. It doesn't. Corey Anderson takes the catch. But a super knock we've seen tonight. Well, he's one for the future for sure. He's done his job. I think the weight was a little bit on the back foot. That's why he couldn't get the elevation what he was looking for. Corey Anderson, deep middle, took a very, very comfortable. How good is that? Across his stumps and punches it into the stands. Yeah, just a fabulous shot, that. The audacity to play it. The confidence to play it. He so often has made some room for himself. But that is a wonderful catch by Mohamed Wasim. Took a long running, long run up to take that catch. Really nicely. Had to put in the long strides. And just a little jump at the end. Fabulous catch. Wanted to get the strategy time out and get on with the job. Tim David, leg spin, down leg side, wide, game over. That's was the strategy, get Tim David on, let him bowl leg spin. And Dwayne Bravo was asking his captain, Nicholas Poran, to send it up the stairs. That, handshakes all round. Check, was there a feather? Ultra edge coming up. Flat line as the ball passes the bat, just roll it through just to ensure it doesn't clip the pad, roll it all the way through. Well, Rod Tucker got it spot on, as he so often does. Wide, down the leg side, one run, Capitals win by seven wickets.